Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to break down a song I did on my Instagram page, Oceans. There is a particular lick, a particular run that I did in it that I know you guys are going to like it. And I'm going to break it down. So let's listen to it and I'm going to show you where I want to break down. Here it's coming up. So we're going to break that down. So we're in the key of E flat. And that run basically took us to the four. But that run could also take us to the six. So let's break that run down. So let's go very slowly. So the first one was first chord. The right hand has this. So basically just four notes. The second one is right hand, left hand. So we have so it's like we're doing drop twos. So that's the third one. The fourth one. So it's the A flat, the E flat major, but we're not playing the G in the right hand, we're playing it in the left hand. So it's a drop two. So this is the other chord. The right hand has this. The left hand has the A flat. So this is the other chord we have. We're back to the E flat. So it's an E flat, but a different inversion. And also you can slide from the F sharp to the G to give it some flavor. So this is the other chord, right hand, left hand, so let's go again. Then here again, so when we come here, we go back to the E flat inversion. So we're here now, right hand, left hand, so this is the other chord, so this is the next chord. So it's the same chord, but what we did is we add the F this time, and we instead of playing the B, we go to the D. I, I can remove the F down here. And after this, this could be a passing chord for the 6, so it could end on the 6. Right? But what we did was... So it went from the six, five, four. Six, five, and four. And we did that little movement. Right? So guys, just work it out slowly. Go back through the video reverse. Rewind the video and go back through it slowly.
right? All right, so let's go back to the video. There is another one that's further down in the video that I did. So let's check it out. So that, that run right there. So let's get back to this page. So we started on the six and then it went to So after this chord, we go to the three, one, one, two, three. So again, and we just do a little slide here. And you can maintain the six because that's what I really was doing, but I didn't play the bass note. So I remain on the six. This may be easier for those with short hands. Right? So guys, let me know what you think about these chords and let's try, try to learn them and add them to your songs, add them to your repertoire because these chords can be used in many different ways as I mentioned. If you want to go to the 6, you can use it as a run that will take you to the 6 or if you want to go to the 6 instead of stop, if you want to go to the 4. Instead of stopping at a six, you can go to the four. Right? So guys, check it out and until next time, keep learning.